Hey guys, welcome to the Greater Love Nation. This is our first vlog and I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I'm sure out there you're wondering, okay, what is this greater love? What do they want from me? Well, we are here because of Christ. Because he lives in us, he is with us and he is for us. My name is Valerie and I'll be your host. I hope that you'll be blessed. Stay tuned. So guys, I'm here with the greater lovers and we are here to have a recap on what we learned last week in church that was taught by our man of God, Pastor Boni Bahati. It was a very powerful topic. It was talking about the eight most important decisions you need to make in your life. But unfortunately, I only have four. Sometimes it's my hair, but you know, it's in life. Anyway, so we'll just get into the discussion and I'll start by asking Magi. Magi, when someone talks about this decisions, sorry, when someone talks about decisions, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? So uh, last Sunday, Pastor Boni taught us that decisions, they are resolutions. Like every one of us, we have we have resolutions that we make, but then we don't follow them. Still, decisions, they are commitment. Something that you are committed to do, you want to do and to see it into its completion. Yes, that is decisions. Wow, that is very, very powerful. Now on to Lillian. On to Lillian, sorry. Lillian, yeah. I'm sure you've had to make decisions in your life every once in a while. So what is this one decision that has been, you know, tough, difficult to you? Tell in, us about In it. the past years, this is a new year, everybody makes them. <laughs> Resolutions. Me, I've been making one of bring part. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it achievable? Nanya na semano. Achievable, and that's. I think that's one of the resolution I've lived to have. I think dieting, pia na faku fanya vizuri or something of the sort. Yeah. So that's a decision I've been taking for years. So, basically, that is all about decisions, the choices that we are supposed to make in life. And so we were told by our man of God that there are four important decisions in our life. The first one being salvation. So I'm sure you're at home and you're thinking, what is salvation? So I'm going to ask him, what is salvation? Salvation, as our man of God taught us, is being born again, like giving yourself again to Jesus. Not being baptized, not using Christian jargons, just being born again, simply being born again. And again, it's not complicated. The Bible says that if you believe with your heart and then you confess with your mouth, then you are saved. Yeah. So it's that simple. You believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, then you are saved. Yeah. So guys, it's that simple. You've heard, as he has said. So salvation is basically about believing and confessing. That is all salvation is about. So the second point was about serving God. And they really love this point because most people, you know, look at us young people in church and they're asking, they're wondering, why are you guys always in church 24-7? Don't you have anything better to do? Like, I'm not alive. So I'm going to ask Willie to explain what serving God really, why it's an important decision in one's life. Wow, wow. Hey, I'm telling you, serving God is like nothing else that anyone can do. For example, serving God is like you are, you are creating a let me say a robot you see so and you expect a robot to to do to serve you as in to to to, to bring back what you you're giving to it mm-hmm. so like us god created us mwana so and like god now is expecting us to do the same to serve him yeah. to worship him yeah. you see so serving god is the best thing you can ever do even the lord says in the bible that serve the lord and he shall bless yeah, yes. even our pastor pastor boni bahati he surely say serve the lord yeah. and he shall bless yeah. you see and that's our slogan yeah. yeah so now that's why you see us crazily in church all the time yeah. Yeah. serving god yeah. being in church yeah. oh, it's because it's, it's the blessings of god and it's an honor to serve god because you're also working on the rewards yeah. in heaven you also want to be in the, in the third heaven one day yeah. you see because there are three heavens so the third heaven is where you are there with god sitting with him under his glory yeah, yeah. so you are serving to achieve a certain goal in the kingdom of God, yeah. yeah. So that's serving, yeah. Also, to add on my brother here, 
serving requires humility. Yeah. You cannot have pride and expect to serve God as he wants because God works with the humble. So like this menial jobs unaambiwa ukuje upange church, upanguze pulpit, upanguze floor unaona ai me my nails. My ah, no, my hair. My makeup. na service I can't. I can't. Unaona. But again, you have to ask yourself, what are you doing for God? You're expecting God to do a lot for you, but you're doing nothing in his house. Hata wei na iza wakivo kweli. Can it really, even in a, on a logic human perception, sindio haiwezi? So let's serve the Lord. Sindio my people, service, service, service with humility. Yeah, yeah that's all I can add. Yeah. So as you've heard, you should serve the Lord because he's going to bless and also as our pastor told us on that sunday we are human beings are created to serve something we are created to serve we have a purpose which is to serve so you're either serving god or you're serving the devil who want to you come when him say wa shaito eh sisi ni wa mungu as we will serve abi we shall serve yes we shall serve and because we are serving the lord we go to the next point which is spirituality in order to serve god you have to be spiritual. So Kate, what is spirituality, my sister? Wow, thank you. So for me, I think spir- spirituality is producing the fruits, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. You know, people think that being spiritual, nile you yeah, you look like eh huyu mtu ni ule wa shalom, maranatha. No, that's not spirituality. When you have love, you have gentleness, you have self-control despite the temptations. Yeah. That is spirituality. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. As you've had spirituality is basically possessing the fruits of the Holy Spirit because as Christian the as wa sorry. Because to assume to just hear you by the way you have not heard that. Yes. Because as Christians we have the spirit of the lord that dwells in us and whatever that spirit carries is the thing that is going to work in us and what are those it's the fruits of the holy spirit so if you want to make a great decision in your life make the decision of being spiritual then the last and but not the least the last decision that is very 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 important is the decision to belong to a church belong to a church so kasioka tell tell us why it's important to belong to a church so uh, first of all i'll start by saying what belonging to a church means it simply means to be planted in a church mm-hmm. and making that church your your family yeah. yeah like for me um i was this person who used to eh i'm here i'm there the next time i'm here the next time i'm there and then i came to realize as in i didn't get i didn't get what i really wanted like i didn't siku feel vile na funny feel but with the moment i made tgl my church and the people here my family i started feeling that i belong somewhere yeah i started feeling i belong somewhere i have people that that we relate we we have gone through the same yeah. um the same challenges in life the same things in life cuz Basically TGL is a church for people in the same age bracket. Yeah. So I felt like I belong here. Yeah. So it's very important to belong to a church. Yeah. To yes. to, to add on what she has said, uh, uh, two benefits of belonging to a church. One benefit is that you are given an opportunity to serve. Yeah. yeah. Because you cannot serve at home. You cannot serve. You only serve the Lord in his temple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And again the, the the second benefit of serving the Lord is you have a spiritual covering as in you are covered spiritually uh, because you have a man of God who, who prays for you who intercedes for you that's mean you are spiritually covered yeah uh, and to add on to that point of uh, belonging to a church after I started after I started serving in I I mean after I made TGL my church um it, it gave me an opportunity to serve God because all my life I have never served yeah. anywhere kumanisha sijai serve God yeah. yeah so through that I got a, an opportunity to serve God and trust you me there is a lot of satisfaction in serving God amaji yeah, yeah. cuz ina ni motivate kuja church cuz I know I'm going to do something for God so I go to church yeah yeah Uh, another thing I I took from my pastor that is our pastor tells us that you can't plant a tree here 
then you pluck it wendo uipande place nyingine you pluck it na maybe hiyo mti ni ya maembe ni ya maembe and then how will it grow surely unashindwa kuitoa to it won't grow the same thing with a person when you stay in one church you'll feed from your man of god and you'll grow both spiritually and other in other way yeah sasa so, wewe imagine umeenda wedding ukakuta wa makeup inaitwa buffet 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 that that cafe as long as it's a buffet that one there's the fee it's laid there kuna gideri mokimo mchele cabbage chapati sijui vitu gani wewe umeenda tu ni nini nipe ni nini nipe ni nini nipe msa si utahara si utahara he utashangaa it's the same thing with spirituality once you go, you go into this church for example ikanisa ni kataka kuokoka uone so you enter there all they say is wewe kataka kuokoka utaona you know it you're feeding from you're feeding your soul different things so your soul really isn't stable so you really do not understand what i need to do this is how i need to walk and then hakuna ule msana kuambia don't go in this way go in that way you umeingia church this sunday how do you mtu next sunday uko na mtu mwingine next it's hard for you to make friends and have a family so my advice to you kindly please dear viewer watcher greater lover please belong to a church make make it your personal decision that me kama venye family yako hata ikihama leo yende algeria bado ni yako make that your church like my decision is to stick to my church so unfortunately guys that is all we had for you this week but before we go please don't forget to like subscribe comment and turn on the post notification bell that is somewhere down here but until next time remember to stay on, on top, top where you and i do belong greater love nation my love, my love. Yeah.